Now you've seen the offense, which leads the national division, uh, but it's sputtered as of late. We jumped out to a 4 0 lead in the first inning against the Pigeon Boys. We won eight innings in that game, too. We scored four, we, we scored, uh, I'm sorry, three runs in the next seven innings. Didn't score a thing, got shut out against Matthews. And then we went eight innings against the Bombers, 2 2. So the offense is kind of in a position now where it's not scoring runs. We're getting guys on still, but we're not scoring runs. Um, we are going to go as far as our pitching and defense takes us. Uh, you're not going to score six, seven runs a game. And we've seen that the last two games. We've gotten shut out and we've had a 2 2 tie. So the days of us, you know, only uh, pr prior to the Matthews game, through 11 games, the least amount of runs we had scored a game was six. It's not going to happen. Um, and the guys with swing, swinging a hot bat, they're not going to, no one's going to bat 700, 800, 900, whatever. They're not going to have ungodly numbers. They're, they're going to go through a, a little bit of a spin. Uh, right now we have to massage the lineup a little bit, uh, see what we do with a couple of guys that are slumping, kind of move them around a little bit. Um, but we're, we're only going to go as far as the pitching and the defense. The defense has to make plays at the times we need them to make plays, and the pitching got to step up. we got to cut down the walk, cut down the base runners, make pitches with two strikes. Um, you know, we can get performances like we got from Matt the other day. I know Nicky Rowe's capable of what he's capable of. Nicky Vesconi's capable of what he's capable of. We have Danny Cedudo, Kevin Patton, Gary Knapp. We got uh, Tino. We got Stevie Trefilio. We, we got guys that can throw. And, hey, listen, I mean, I know it's been garbage time, but Danny Leary's throwing the ball pretty good, too. Uh, you know, I like to see what he can do in close game, but he's he's looked solid on the mound. We have pitching. The, the Blue Jays, this, this Blue Jays team is only going to go as far in the playoffs uh, as the pitching and the defense takes them. I know the offense right now is our strong point. We lead the division in, in runs. Scoring 100 and some runs is not going to win the playoff game. It's not going to bring home a title for you. you got to win with pitching and defense, smart baseball. And uh, we do that with, with, the, with the pitchers that we have and the defense I know we can put out there. I think we'll be able to one better. Uh, but at, at this juncture, with what we've gone through, we've had a couple injuries. Uh, we've had some guys battling some fatigue. Uh, lots of guys on our team are doing double duty in terms of more than one league. Uh, pitching's been up and down, with walks, a lot of base runners on in, in an inning. Uh, defense has let us down. So right now at 5-5-3, five, five, and three, I'll take it. we got a big game on Friday against the Cardinals, um, and then we wrap up against the New York Bombers. we get the Mariners in there. Another game against Matthews, uh, which they kicked our ass the first time. We're looking to kind of get back some revenge on that one. And uh, we have the Expos, who certainly have been playing better this year than years past. So. Uh, it's not going to be easy. You would want a decent seat going into the playoffs. I don't know how the league is going to format it. Uh, I know there's 12 teams, so I don't know if uh, there's going to be a couple of wild card uh, games with some lower seeds, and then you'll go into a, maybe a, a eight game or a ten, uh, eight team or a ten team bracket. I don't know how the the league is going to decide for the playoff vote bracket. But right now, we want to win as many games as we can. Uh, like I said, the three ties. They're better than losses, but uh, it's, it's discouraging. Uh, the 2-2 game this past Sunday, we left about a small army on base. And then the other games, uh, we left guys in scoring position in those games also, but um, we had leads in each of those games and leads in uh, the last inning in the other two ties. And in each of our ties, uh, all three of our ties, we've had a lead in the game. 2-1 uh, against the Bombers, 7-1 against Siegel and uh, three nothing at the Pigeon Boys, and we ended up in a tie. So uh, it's discouraging. We have to you know, learn, learn to close it out. Um, we've had a lot of games get away from us this year, but we've hung tough. That's out of the Matthews game, which uh, they just punched us in the mouth. Uh, we've been playing good baseball. We've been competitive. We've been hanging with everybody. Um, you know, I, I thought uh, an encouraging note, Mac Rose pitched uh, the, the best he's pitched. Uh, since I've seen him, that was a great performance, eight innings against uh, a quality hitting team in the New York Bombers. So he really stepped up. Uh, Luke is really killing the ball. He's stepping up. Uh, he's thrown a couple of base runners out this year. Uh, Jared Baez is swinging a hot bat. It's a guy that we didn't have the first couple of games of the season due to uh, New York playing, and they have the playoffs, and now we got him back. Uh, James Manorani is uh, 
swinging good. Uh, you know, you may look at his average and go, oh, well, he's not really swinging that great. Uh, for a guy that hasn't played in a couple of years, he's, he's swinging a good bat. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's encouraging. And uh, again, we're going to try and win as many games as, as, as we can and get a good seed. Uh, the division is tough. Uh, this is the toughest I've seen uh, a division in quite some time. And uh, again, we said this for the last couple of years here in this uh, men's league, that the national division is a much better competitive division than the American division, and we're seeing that. Um, Siegel right now looks like they have a stronghold uh, on first place after their win yesterday, but right now everything else is kind of up in the air uh, between slots two through eight, two through nine, if you want to you know, call it that. So everything is kind of up, up, up in the air, up in the open. Uh, Bowyer Bombers are playing really good baseball. Uh, you know, they have a, a, a never say die attitude. Even the game we beat them, uh, you know, they turned an 11 run game into a five run game and they lowered the bases in the last inning. So they they were out of it with their offense and the coaching staff they got up there and, 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 and the guys. Uh, you know, Barone Cyclones, we know what they can do. Uh, Matthew Siegel, uh, Cardinals, Mariners. So you, you, you just have a, a, a division that is, is so, so rich in uh, talent and uh, competitive teams. It's going to be a fun year. It's going to be a fun playoff. Uh, you know, we have uh, about five more games to go. You know, we go three and two in those games. Um, I, I, I think that'll uh, be decent enough for a, a decent seed in the playoffs. We'll see where we go from there.